love us at the bar is where I go mm -hmm. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, tripping fast and then we talk Hi Trader, Tina here once again from shortmetina.com with my daily recap Today is Thursday, happy Thursday, one more day, Friday and then the weekend is upon us Before we start out with our mission statement, I do have a question I was uh, on social media and I stumbled upon uh, this particular comment, comment and it got me to do some thinking whether or not this comment is sort of echoed amongst retail traders. So let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section. So this particular person said, quote unquote, and you know, obviously it's not quite verbatim. I had to just throw some things in there to make it make a bit more sense. But this person said, stay away from the stock market. Do not trust the stock market. Put your hard earned money in a safe place. And I smirked again. I said, I wonder if this particular viewpoint is echoed amongst other traders. So in the comment section, let me know right now. Do you agree or disagree with this person's comment? Uh, should you stay away from the uh, stock market? Do not trust the stock market. Do you think the stock market is rigged? Agree or disagree? Again, comment in the comment section. All right. So. Before we move on to our mission statement, let me welcome you. If this is your very first time tuning into a short me Tina video, I would like to say welcome. Do us a solid in the comment section. Say hi. Let us know your name. Let us know how you found us. If you are returning, say hi as well. I like to know that folks are tuning in day in and day out to listen to our message here. So to you, I want to say welcome. What is our mission here? Our mission here, so you know what we do, it is to build a powerhouse of successful traders and to help you find more winners. We conclude if you win, we win. In order for that to happen in the comment section right now, identify for us. Tell us right now what is your biggest frustration in reaching your trading goals or what is your biggest frustration when it comes to trading the stock market? Like the previous commenter said, do not trust it. Do you not trust the stock market? What is your biggest frustration? Again, comment in the comment section and lastly, before we review the overall markets, uh, I'm going to link a video here. What I believe to be are the three, uh, pardon, what I believe to be are the three principles to successful trading. Again, the three pillars. I believe you need all three of these things in order to be successful in the stock market. Not one, not two, but all three. I'm going to link that video. It's about 12 minutes in length if you are new to trading. Do yourself a favor, watch that video if you're not successful when it comes to the stock market. Do yourself watch, do yourself a favor and watch that video. In my opinion, my trading in many respects revolutionized when I understood these three concepts. Again, I'm going to link that video. All right, so let's recap the overall markets. All right, so let's kick it off with uh, Bitcoin daily chart uh, dating back to around uh, 2017 right now. I see a print a little over 11,000. Uh, today we dipped, well, today's like the second consecutive day of selling. We dipped a little bit under 11,000 uh, to clock in somewhere, a little over uh, 10,900. In my opinion, that is fine. I have these three levels highlighted here because for me, those are important levels. 10,000, once resistant, it was a huge hurdle for us dating back to May of 2018. It took us about a year and a half, north, and a, north of a year and a half to actually break through those levels. We did that in June of 2019, hence why 10,000 is highlighted as a major resistance level for me. The second level of resistance is uh, 13,000 to around 14,000. We retested that area around two times and then we pulled back. So for me, I am bullish on Bitcoin. Disclaimer, I am long Bitcoin. As long as we can remain above 10,000, I think we should retest 14,000 in short order. I said, uh, I think it should happen before the ending of July, before August rolls in. We need to surpass 14,000. And if we do that, 20,000 is around the corner. And in my opinion, I definitely at bare minimum, see Bitcoin trading at 40,000 uh, in 2019. So that's more than a double sitting here at 11,000. Uh, and with a continued, um, obviously with upward momentum, I see this at some point at 11, uh, pardon, not 11, but 100,000. So I remain bullish on Bitcoin. What else? S&P 500, SPY daily chart dating back to 2017. All I'm really paying attention to considering we broke out of this uh, multi-year resistance, we can call that level 293 to 295, denoted by this purple line here. So again, we broke out, and since we broke out, all I'm paying attention to is for us to stay above 293 to 295. If we can do that, like I've indicated before, I definitely see the SPY hitting 300. We came close 
two days in a row. Very close. No cigar. Uh, yesterday we went as high as two ninety nine sixty six. Today we went as high as two ninety nine fifty eight. Uh, but the fact that we closed at two ninety nine twenty four uh, signals for me that us reaching 300 is right within reach it is a possibility and again as long as we can stay above this breakout here things look things actually look good for the spy what else and then we have the IWM uh, daily chart slightly off on the day to close at 140 uh, pardon 15488 if there are frustrations on my end if there are frustrations obviously it's the fact that the IWM cannot penetrate that 160 level granted the longer it consolidates when it breaks out that breakout should be huge but even so i think at this point at this juncture considering everything else that's going on the spy continuously hitting all-time highs i think at minimum the iwm should be trading above 160 sitting here at 154.88 i believe it's still about 10 percent off of its all-time high so in many respects it is lagging right now and we need Participation from the small cap stock for this to be a true bull market, in my opinion. Uh, it just really says that folks are not really taking on the risk. They are essentially fleeing to a lot of these uh, large cap companies. But nonetheless, with the IWM, granted, as long as we can stay above 148 to 150, things are good. But for things to be great, we need to get above uh, 160, uh, that major resistance level. And that's really what I'm paying attention to. What else? And then we have Disney uh, slightly up to flat on the day to close at 143.56. Again, we continue to make all-time highs, going as high as 145.34. Remember what I said, uh, stocks that are making all-time highs, right, in a nice upward trend. These are the type of stocks you really want to get into because chances are they're going to make all-time highs again. So with Disney, I've been very vocal uh, since the stock was trading in the low 100s when we actually got into this trade in the premium member community. I said, I like Disney. The fact that it broke out of this multi, a multi-year breakout, gap up, consolidation, all the makings, in my opinion, all the makings of a very bullish chart. So in the shorter term, I definitely see 150 and with a bull market, uh, I see 200. Let's see if Lion King can get us to that 150 level. What else? And then we have ticker SOLY daily chart breakouts, breakouts. I see breakouts everywhere. We're up about 21%. I've done a recap on this particular security. I want to say for the last, uh, I, I think all week. So you can definitely head on over uh, to shortmeeting.com and listen to those videos. And I've indicated as long as you can stay above this red line, let's call it uh, anywhere from, I believe I said uh, 14 to 15. As long as you can stay above these levels, uh, then I see 20 in the making. And what happened today? Uh, and granted, we had a bit of a pullback uh, two days ago, but what happened today? Uh, volume poured in. We actually broke through that $20 level, going as high as $21.97, a little shy of $22 before pulling back to $21.22. Now, uh, as I indicated before, if it can stay above uh, 14 to 15, we're going to break out to 20. If it can stay above 20, then I see it touching. Uh, highs here of $29. This is a fast moving stock. So I would not be surprised with continued momentum, a $30 to $40 print. So still potential upside sitting here at $21.22. What else? And let me provide a little bit of an update on JD. Yes, I am still long. Uh, we closed at $30.51 today. So we're slightly off on the day. Nothing really to complain about. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. The setup is bullish. I'm not sure why it hasn't hit 35 as of yet. I think it's way overdue. Look at that bullish setup here. Very little overhead. So the minute we break above that 32 level, which is this blue line here, boom, I can see 35 in the cards. Uh, because again, dating back to 2018, August of 2018, almost an entire year, we've essentially traded under 32. So once we can uh, get above that, sustain that break, 35 is right around the corner. So I remain long and I am bullish. What else? And then we have ticker IMUX daily chart. Uh, congrats to the bull. The, st the stock is up about 28% uh, on the day, going as high as 1905 to close at 1405. You can see here it ran into about two months resistance of uh, 19 to $20 before Pulling back decent volume. I don't like the close. So if you're long or, or pardon, or if you're long or looking to get long, pay attention. I want to say to uh, today's close of 1405. If we open up below that and cannot rebound, uh, I suspect that you will have a sell off. What else? Let's. 
Update everyone on ticker SNAP. The stock is up about 2% on the day. Full disclaimer, full disclosure, I remain long Snapchat. I do eventually see a print, uh, or I do eventually see the stock hitting all-time highs of around 29.44, but it's going to be a process before we get there. I think where I last left off is that we don't run into any real resistance until this purple line here. We can call that around $16. Uh, what happened today? We went as high as $15.94, almost touching resistance before pulling back to close at $15.50. Seven. Now, heading into tomorrow, the remainder of the, well, tomorrow is the end of the week, but heading into uh, tomorrow, next week, uh, the remainder of the month, you want to pay attention to that $15 level. Like if we cannot get above uh, 16 and hold, say for example, we dip below 15, chances are we might fall back to that $13, $14 area. And even if we do that, I remain bullish. What else? Now let's do an update on Spotify. Ticker SPOT daily chart dating back to when the stock IPO'd in April of 2018. Remember, uh, full disclaimer, full disclosure, we went long. Uh, this particular stock in the premium member community when the stock hit the lower end of the channel. The channel is a particular trading pattern that I love to trade. I think it's relatively easy. I will link how to trade that particular pattern here. At any rate, we went uh, long spot at the lower end of the channel. Ran into resistance uh, at the upper end of the channel, which is around uh, 150. I said if we can actually break through that and sustain that break, uh, chances are uh, this stock potentially can run. Uh, today we went as high as 152.96, uh, essentially above 150. We closed above that 150 mark, uh, closed at 151.46. So, so far so good for Spotify. What else? And so let's uh, wrap it out and uh, round it out. Let's wrap it out wrap it up God. anyway let's wrap it up and round it out with ticker b y n d beyond me daily chart all right so the stock is up about six percent on the day uh still have not gotten my entry this stock just does not want to die it refuses to die at any rate close that out 174 20 you can see here it's actually trying to break out of this little range here and if it does that more than likely the stock is gonna retest 200 remember what i said if we can retest 200 with volume and strength 300 is right around the corner i know that that seems like such an obscure or such um a lofty number a lofty valuation but i'm just reading the chart the chart says to me that this stock wants to run again hence why it's so hard for me to get an entry uh but again uh, sitting here at 174.20, looks like we're breaking out. If we do that, retest 200, I definitely see 300s in the cart. So I am in the shorter term, bullish on ticker BYND. Uh, so let's cap it there. Tina here, once again from shortmeetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of this video, I'd like for you to do three things for me. One, comment in the comment section. I asked you a question at the beginning of uh, the video. Do you think the stock market is rigged? Do you agree or disagree? Comment in the comment section. Uh, I have been extremely bullish on ticker Disney. It is a household name, a classic. Have you seen Toy Story 4? Are you going to see The Lion King? Again, comment in the comment section. Uh, secondly, I do videos Monday through Friday. So if you don't want to miss anything, then just head on over to our YouTube channel at Short Tina. Make sure you are subscribed and notifications are turned on. And lastly, lastly, my friend, I've been trading for well over 15 years. If you think you can learn anything from me, then head on over to shortmeetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. And last night you were in my room. And now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your body oh, wow.